Meet Lucy Carter, portrayed by the iconic Lucy Ball in the classic TV series Here's Lucy. Airing in the late 60s, the show brought laughter and joy to living rooms across the nation. The ever-charming Lucy, accompanied by her real-life children, Daisy Arnaz Jr. and Lucy Arnaz, took center stage in this delightful sitcom. But did you know that one classic Hollywood actor graced the screen in Here's Lucy? The question is, who was your favorite? As you dive into the episodes, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny moments that'll have you laughing out loud, shocking twists that'll keep you on the edge of your seat, and poignant scenes that might just tug at your heartstrings. The charm of the show lies not only in its humor, but also in its ability to surprise and touch the audience. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Perhaps a moment that left you in stitches or a scene that you found particularly heartwarming? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. So, with plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to unfold, keep watching and sharing your experiences. Your favorite classic Hollywood actor and cherished memories are just the beginning. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Here's Lucy? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The Here's Lucy TV series from 1968 presented on a four DVD set with additional content like rehearsal footage, syndication sales tapes, Thalian's award show, and commentary by Lucy and Daisy Jr. offers a glimpse into the world of Lucy's comedic prowess. Despite Lucy's distinct characteristics such as neediness, bitterness, high vocal pitch, and volume, her home technique shines through. Particularly noteworthy is the Burton Taylor episode where her performance stands out. The chic costumes, notably Lucy's, add to the visual appeal. The show features interesting moments like the dance number with Anne Margaret and Daisy Jr. and the surprising fun in the Wayne Newton episode. The Charleston dance with Lucy, Lucy, and Ginger Rogers adds a cute touch. The animated Lucy puppet during the credits, while initially adorable, may become tiresome after watching multiple episodes. The reviewer expresses a desire to see episodes and extras from the Lucy Show era, specifically when Vibe was Lucy's housemate and three kids were part of the dynamic distinct from Lucy's own children. In summary, Here's Lucy brings forward Lucy's comedic skills and unique moments, making it an interesting watch for fans of classic television. The desire for the Lucy Show episodes and extras indicates a broader interest in exploring the evolution of Lucy's on-screen journey. The inaugural season of Here's Lucy witnessed a joint effort from Paramount Television in its production. As the show progressed, it soared to the zenith, becoming CBS's top-rated program during the 1970-1971 season. This achievement marked a pinnacle for the series, solidifying its status as a television powerhouse. In a unique twist of television rivalry, Rowan and Martin's laugh and took jabs at both The Lucy Show and the subsequent series. The competition was evident as the cast bid farewell with a mocking goodbye salute at the end of their show. Lucy herself, in response to this jest, questioned the humor in it during a talk show appearance. However, fate had its way and Rowan and Martin's laugh and faced cancellation in 1973, a year before Here's Lucy concluded its run. Lucio Ball, the indomitable force behind the show, had the last laugh. This series, devoid of flowery embellishments, presents a stark portrayal of its journey. Paramount Television's involvement in the first season laid the groundwork for subsequent triumphs. The 1970-1971 season showcased the show as the undisputed leader on CBS. The mocking banter from Rowan and Martin's laugh in serves as a curious footnote in television history. Lucy's reaction to the parody demonstrated her resilience. The demise of Rowan and Martin's laugh in a year before the show wrapped up serves as poetic justice, etching Lucille Ball's legacy in the annals of television. The unadorned narrative unfolds, revealing Paramount Television's early collaboration, the zenith it reached during the 1970-1971 season, and the satirical rivalry with Rowan and Martin's laugh-in. The final chuckle belongs to Lucille Ball, solidifying her position in television history. In an unexpected turn, here's Lucy harbors a somber undertone. During its production, a tragic incident unfolded behind the scenes. While filming one of the episodes, a seasoned Hollywood actor revered for his talents unexpectedly passed away. The news cast a pall over the set, leaving the cast and crew in shock. This poignant event serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of life, even in the seemingly cheerful realm of television. 
The show's resilience in the face of this sorrowful event is a testament to the professionalism and dedication of those involved. Reflecting on this behind-the-scenes tragedy adds a layer of depth to the otherwise lighthearted facade. Turning attention to the series itself, the four-DVD set provides a comprehensive look into Lucy's comedic genius. Noteworthy is the Burton Taylor episode, where her performance shines amidst distinct characteristics. The visual allure is heightened by chic costumes, particularly hers. Amid the laughter, unexpected delights emerge, such as the dance number with Anne Margaret and Daisy Jr. and the surprisingly enjoyable Wayne Newton episode. However, the animated puppet in the credits, initially endearing, may lose its charm with repeated viewings. A longing for episodes from the Lucy Show era, featuring Vive as her housemate, and a dynamic trio of kids unveils a broader interest in Lucy's evolving on-screen journey. Paramount Television's involvement in the inaugural season laid the groundwork for subsequent triumphs. The zenith of the 1970-1971 season marked the series as CBS's top-rated program, solidifying its position as a television powerhouse. Notably, the satirical banter from Rowan and Martin's laugh in added a peculiar chapter to television history, with her resilient response echoing indomitable spirit. The demise of Rowan and Martin's laugh in a year before the conclusion of the show served as poetic justice, etching Lucio Ball's legacy in the annals of television. The unadorned narrative unfolds, revealing Paramount Television's early collaboration, the peak it reached during the 1970-1971 season, and the satirical rivalry with Rowan and Martin's laugh-in. The final chuckle belongs to her, solidifying her position in television history. In a stark twist behind the scenes, here's Lucy encountered a poignant incident during its production. A revered Hollywood actor known for his talents unexpectedly passed away while filming an episode. The news cast a somber shadow over the set, leaving the cast and crew in shock. This unforeseen tragedy serves as a stark reminder of life's unpredictable nature, even in the seemingly cheerful realm of television. The show's ability to persevere in the face of this sorrowful event speaks to the professionalism and dedication of those involved. Reflecting on this behind-the-scenes sorrow adds a layer of depth to the show's otherwise lighthearted facade. Turning our attention back to the series itself, the 4-DVD set offers a comprehensive look into Lucy's comedic genius. The Burton Taylor episode stands out, showcasing her performance amidst distinct characteristics. The visual allure is heightened by chic costumes, particularly hers. Amid the laughter, unexpected delights emerge, such as the dance number with Anne Margaret and Daisy Jr. and the surprisingly enjoyable Wayne Newton episode. However, the animated puppet in the credits, initially endearing, may lose its charm with repeated viewings. A desire for episodes from the Lucy Show era, featuring Vive as her housemate and a dynamic trio of kids, unveils a broader interest in Lucy's evolving on-screen journey. Paramount Television's involvement in the inaugural season laid the groundwork for subsequent triumphs. The zenith of the 1970-1971 season marked the series as CBS's top-rated program, solidifying its position as a television powerhouse. Notably, the satirical banter from Rowan and Martin's laugh in added a peculiar chapter to television history, with Lucy's resilient response echoing indomitable spirit. The demise of Rowan and Martin's laugh in a year before the conclusion of the show served as poetic justice, etching Lucille Ball's legacy in the annals of television. The unadorned narrative unfolds, revealing Paramount Television's early collaboration, the peak it reached during the 1970-1971 season, and the satirical rivalry with Rowan and Martin's laugh in. The final chuckle belongs to her, solidifying her position in television history.